Man, I got so much duration. Oops. Well, I could have waited. Man. They just don't stand any chance. Oh, is that... Yeah, it's 40,000 damage right there. Hello, and thanks for messing around in some Vampire Survivors. Beswick will be continuing to beat every stage with every character, as Sheena will take on three more. And take us to the Mad Forest, girl. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Oh, so an old sanctuary is never bad pick up. Especially with what I have in mind. Pick a card, any card, or know when to stop. It's a bouncing miracle. Ah, what was the other one? Well. Now, this will look very weird, but it will work out eventually. See? There it is. Well, that's basically just the same as grabbing a weapon normally, huh? Yep. Yep. Oh, wow, celestial dusting. There we go. With this, I should still be able to get cooldown to max, even with three weapons. Ooh, care to see what the last one is? Alright, move fast, attack faster, cross them off the list. Need as many things on screen as I can get. But otherwise, it's gonna end poorly. Yep, cross and blade crossbow. Throw a whole bunch of cross on the screen. All right, and between all the pickups, this should max out for attack cooldown. And attack speed to max. Only five off of speed, so it's half. Still between them, it will max out. Heck, you could max it out. In other circumstances, too. Yeah, look at how many are getting shot around the screen. It's only going to get more ridiculous as things goes on. And there's 93. That's as fast as it's going to get. And with time warp, the enemies will get nice and slow on the back end. Over 100. They're not going to be stopped at all. Cross. And then cross them off the list. Yeah, look at how much cooldown is just tearing through these poor old bats. I'm gonna be strong enough to take down the Atlanteans. My upfront damage isn't great, but that's what the evolution is for. 4k damage hits? Oh, probably like 3k. Or even 2k will be more than enough to clear through everything. No Probotector Shadow here. Still. Damage in the speed is more than enough to take care of everything. And then I get bouncy bouncy with cross for my third arcana. Awake? Who needs awake? Especially does who needs awake. <laughs> Still count's actually not going up too fast because I'm not going for it too hard, but hey. Next out cross, bow. Oh yeah. Did I pull past it? I did not. Look at how fast he's getting. He's getting decently stun locked. Not the best, but well, I've seen worse. I've done so much worse. Hey, nice. We're Logan. Get all that XP going. Or don't, because I desperately do need to make sure that I don't level up. Target evolutions. Uh oh. Well, that was bad. Oh, wait. Five more minutes to go. Wait. I don't think I've grabbed a chest yet, have I? Yeah, I think this is the first chest, which inexplicably allows you to evolve on this map. Vaughn? Yeah. No. 
Oh well. Now I just have to stay still for a while. The Atlantean is dead, that's good. And look at how fast that cooldown pops off. They can't do anything against this. The ladder waves aren't gonna have much choice. Sure, they may be healthier, but by then I'll have the BF or er, Yes, BFC, big frickin' crossbow. Eh. Ah. Now Doom. Doom would be perfect for this, wouldn't it? <laughs> but I mean you only have like three playable characters. I mean I guess it would all have to be monsters after that. This would be very strange. And obviously the imp. The most I guess iconic Doom design, then probably the regular demon pinky. And who else? Cyber Demon. Well, Cyber Demon probably is better. I mean, you would want all those for on the map enemies. You can't make them all playable characters. I guess you make a Doom guy for each game. Give him different guns for it. So you got, well, I mean, the difference between Doom and Doom 2 Doom guy is not, well, and Doom 64 Doom guy is not particularly existent. So that could all be one character. Then you got the Doom 3 Corporal. Then the Doom 3 Expansion Pack. Guy, I don't think he had a rank. Engineer. Like a demolitionist, something like that. Anyway, and then you, know, you could do Doom 2014. Doom guy, because he's vastly different there, and then Doom Eternal is also pretty different than the same guy. All the same guy. And that's it for it, unless you... Yeah. Oh, crap, battle's getting in. Huh. Oh. oh, there's the boss with the chest. Hope it goes down soon. I can get that sweet, sweet weapon upgrade. Huh, why do they start shooting up? Alrighty, now I can get levels. Oh wow, I wasn't maxed out. Cool. Right, and now everything dies horribly. Another evolution chest? It is not. Duration 100%. It's like one extra second, but one extra second. I'm out one. It looks like it was doing only like 500. Okay, so a far cry from before. Still, not the worst. And bouncier crosses. The red gems are what I'm looking for. Wow, getting all the amount. A lot of amount. I mean, having high, such a high base damage, I don't think there's anything that has that high base damage. Eh, going for it. Man, I'm getting a lot of levels that aren't for the weapon I want it to evolve, or get it, um... Well, I mean, I guess one more cross is better than anything else for now. Area at so many levels. Maybe I should have held off again. Bigger, badder area, or... I don't think I'll need mine. I think the area is better. Oh, is that another chest? It shouldn't be an evolution chest, but who knows, sometimes. Nope. Yeah, I don't want to get any more experience till I get the other evolution. I mean, two out of three is pretty good. Man, look at that cross storm. Doesn't stop. That's true divine intervention. What the heck? Why are they firing out so weirdly? Why are they firing out in that strange arc instead of not firing out in an arc. Huh. Well, still, that's a lot of them getting shot out. And this has enough duration and cooldown that's basically firing ever. Plus, with my bonus lock, it helps, too. Hey, there's a chest. Yeah, evolution time. Now the screen is swords. 
I mean, that's more than enough to just charge on through. Swords do high damage. The Holy Shuriken does even more. And a crit chance. Does four times damage with its crits by default. Eight times if you pick up Slash, so it's crazy high damage. Still don't know. Like, the base damage on the shuriken here is so high. So ridiculously high that it might be the best for super high kill counting. Alrighty, now I can grab every level I need. And hit random always, because nothing's going to stop me. Nah, the area is so small. Yeah, nothing's going to get through this. Nothing at all. Ah, oh, nice to have a nice, relaxing, simplistic one after a lot of the nightmare with Stanley and even Probotector had a bit of problems at the start. Divine Intervention. Uh, let's see, what are the highest damaging weapons I can think of? In fact, I'm using two of them, aren't I? BFC, Opinion. Ultimate amount of levels is limited, but still, why is that frozen? Oh right, time warp, duh. I defang the Atlantean, if Stalker can't get defanged, then Atlantean might be able to. I mean, I've never seen it. It's not that they spawn in all that often though, but I should have if it was random chanceable. Where are you, Metaglio? Oh, there you are. Oh, I wouldn't even be able to tell if I defanged him because of the, everything that's going on on screen. And this is on inverse. They're getting trounced this bad on inverse. Damage is power. Cooldown is also power. There it was. Yeah, what I need? More cooldown. Hey, was that a grenade? I think it was a grenade. There's another grenade. Let's stack them up till I can get going. Man, even the mummy wave doesn't stand a chance. That's the start of things being really durable. Hitting for a thousand, so something about the damage scales up too. Wait, was that a 6k hit? Yeah, there was 69. What was that? Yeah, it was seven. Huh. Okay. Let me just stay still for a bit. Try and math this out. Well, that was odd. Still don't know what's causing these weird, huge hits. Like... Maybe it is the BFC doing it. I swear it's only hitting for like 1300. There was a 9k hit. It's hard to tell. Okay, looks like the swords are doing 1500, so that would count for the 6Ks. No, the swords are only doing like, yeah, 150. That would be like 600 there, at best. Alright, the crossbow shirk, the small blades are doing like 50. The big ones are definitely hitting. They get wider when they get up. Okay, yeah, it's 1610. It can crit. That's what's happening, and it's critting. Holy crap. Okay. So it's hitting for like 1700. It's critting for 11. So that's like four times crits as well. Isn't Okay, let me let me sh pull up slash. 
It doesn't say it gets the benefits of crits for this. Perhaps I should try it on the next round. Because... Well, that's five digit damage right there. That might actually mean it could reach the top. The damage charts. Hmm. Maybe it's multiplied by amount as well. That could be it. I know Millionaire and Flash Arrow get it as well. Get amount as well. You get multiplied by mine as well. You're not gonna like super break like say with Toasty or yeah Toasty or Cosmo with Impasta Tongue. Well, I guess old Toasty back when the HP bonus was a multiplier, not a flat amount. Because you know when you have you know 10,000 HP, you get multiplied by 9,998. Well, suddenly you're doing infinite damage and wiping out the Reaper. Wait, literally no time. Yeah, I wish that was still was in the game. It's the craziest thing. Wait, oh, I gotta do a character that's nothing but game killer. Ambro mm. Joe would make good sense for it. It's a mount. Any other characters that really get nothing to start with? Than a stage where it's really beneficial to them. So, you know, boss rash or moon glow, take out the reaper there. Level one without anything. Oh, right, I wanted to go down and punch the Atlanteans. Let's go do that. Am I getting damage? I can't even tell anymore. Oh, good learn. That blade crossbow hits, so. Yeah, it's, it's damage is still going up. I'm seeing for 2,500. Hmm. Possibly. I mean, the amount, the base might can't be adding that much. In mean, 500, even if every level was might, wouldn't it be adding, it would only be adding like 20. 20% might. Which would still only be like 80 damage. Hello? You? Wait, why is there things around me? Nothing should be getting close to this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna test this with Slash in the next one. Sometimes there's our unintended arcana side effects that aren't getting noticed. As I know there was one Arcana that was affecting, yeah, like hats, hats freezes, but it doesn't get the benefit of Out of Bounds. That's one of those, which I really should bring up in the Discord, and in fact, I will in the me median. Wait, what? 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 What was up there? Oh, bat wave. Okay, well, let's pad out the stats as much as I can. 3k hits? Yeah, there's 2127 over there. If the damage keeps scaling up, yeah, 393 million without even trying that hard. Heck, was that's almost higher than what I got on Neo Galaga, isn't it? Yeah, because I had so many more levels. Hmm. All right, let's gonna test this out more. Dramatic circumstances. Okay, and let us see what Sheena can pull off. Down over on the Green Acres. This is kind of how it's going to go for the rest of the third wave. One regular stage, one challenge stage, and one bonus stage. That way things are much more even. Where you at, Merchant? 
Is that okay? One re-roll. Oh, right. I get bonus re-rolls here. To start with. Alright, let's see if this will work. Damage up. I don't think it will, but let's try it anyway. Wings, get that cooldown minimized as quick as possible. And base damage up will help. Yeah, there we go. Super fast as it is. Same weapon loadout as that time, last time, goes well. It was a good one. Time warp will protect me ultimately from a lot of the stuff that does manage to break through the ridiculous damage. That's helpful. No, she makes a very good paranormal scanner character too. Actually, if I really wanted to punch it out, I would attempt it with that. Da -da -da. Oh, still not coming up. Oh, right, it's curse season. No, nothing on the map to grab, so. Man, they really want to give me the sea laser. What happened to the old prism, lass? There's the scanner. Empty tomb. Already at 75. Hmm. Well, it will go down once I manage to actually grab what I need weapon-wise. Oh, 83. Almost max. Oh, stop getting XP. You're not in experience in growth season. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. If I probably had blade, blade crossbowed them, it'd been fine. Hmm. Do I get early evolutions here? Ah, I still don't know enough about Green Acres mechanics to get away with it. The enemies here get stronger too. Oh, vacuum, geez. Oh, don't want to give me the prism last at all, huh? Home. It's maxed out. Cooldown. Super maxed out. Cooldown now. There we are, Prism Lass. Get you up. Basically, instantly, too. Hey, hey there's a boss. Fuck. Nope, no evolution. Still 10 here. Or at least it should be. Otherwise, that was really bad. Yeah, okay. just an endless beam. Hey, did it get shorter? Okay, good. They can't get back. I mean, it's still the early waves, but hey. All right, time to get all my experience. Time to not get all my experience and just sit here and let it grow up till I can match out. Or evolve out. Which hopefully will be soon. I'm all in 10 minutes. Show up real quick. Nice and quick. Get us going. No, not curse season. Uh oh. They're durable. They are so durable. Once I get Slash, it will change, but... Dang it. Once I get Slash, the... Well, once I get a lot of things, it'll go better. But I'm really doing this to try and test out if Slash actually does affect BFC. Because it can crit. I saw a bunch of crits. Ooh, that's some good pick up there. Alrighty. I have another grenade, just the one. So let's grab the rapid fire, which will do nothing for me speed wise, but it does buff up the damage, right? Right? Well, I shouldn't be moving anyway. No, it doesn't buff up damage. Maybe area. Hey, more light sources, nice. Barrier. No reason to not grab the barriers. I should not have grabbed the chicken, though. 
think. When they're not on curse season, they're not really threatening. It'll go up eventually, but... Heck, these are actually less threatening than the lizard man wave. Yeah, they're not getting in unlike them. I'll get my barrier still. Where is that dang boss chest? Do I need to attack up? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of XP once I can finally evolve. So many levels to storm up. Damage is, well, not the best, but it is a lot of good knockback. Wow. Where are the boss? Where are the boss at all? I do have to try and aim the prism last to break through it, at least. Man, the sheer knockback on all this is really good at keeping them, you know, taken care of. Yes. Come on, boss. You gotta show up sometime. There's only been one of you for some reason. Oh, well, I didn't actually grab this. It sort of spawned in on me. Why did it spawn on me? Yep, that happened. Still can't get in on me. That's good. Is that you, boss chest? Okay, let me try and spot you through the mess first. Yeah, evolution time. The one I would have wanted first, but hey. Might one, might one. Chance up. It's better than anything else. Crit chance first, crit chance over everything. Because that can max out much faster. Man, you're giving me a lot of levels not in the weapon I want. Speed actually does help since it increases the damage. It affects how much it fires out. Which is, you know, helpful. I'll need the might over the area. And crit does the most. I think if you math it out, the crit chance offers the most consistent increase in damage. Because when it's, you know, hit for eight times the damage, that's a lot. And amount, of course, is the most valuable one of them all. Man, that was a lot of levels stacked up. Oh, Malison. And for a consistent 4k down there, I think the crit chance is maxed out. Don't know if that will be enough. I will be attempting it. Wow. Oh, please be a boss bat. Oh, no, wait, you're the Arcana bat, so I'll get slash off of you. Strangely, the Molly saved me entirely on that curse wave. Okay, the Arcana is over here. We'll be slashing them all down into the ground. And now it's hitting for 800, which is a lot of damage for a weapon that's firing out so fast. But they are still taking hits of it, jeez. Let's fix that issue. Alrighty. How much is this doing? It's actually really hard to tell. Hmm. I think it does get bonus a multiplier amount, because... Well, actually, it's really hard to see if it's hitting anything. The swords are so omnipresent. Here'll be the time. 800. 
Not really just the swords again. Oh, right. I should have moved. Got all that sweet, sweet XP. The vacuum here. Oh, weapon pickup. Area is better than speed. Might is better than area. The more of those hit, the better. Amount one, yeah. I think there's an amount multiplier in there because it doesn't seem to be doing as much damage as it was last time where I did have beginning powering it up. I mean, the crit chance basically seems infinite at the moment. Uh, uh, let's see, 61. Probably close to maxing out its crit if it hasn't already, in fact. Area for that's better. Area's better than speed. Might's better than area. Nope, crit's still not maxed. Take, ah, uh, take 40 levels. Max it out. I oh, shouldn't have grabbed that. Area is better. For this weapon, at least. Another vacuum stacked up. Sword's doing up to about 900. Hitting 3k-ish with shuriken. Okay. Doesn't seem to be getting any additional benefit from Slash, but it was good to test that out just in case. Any vacuums around me? Just the chest. Alright, let's get that time warp going. Right, Red Jim, Red Jim, where you at? Area. Since I do have Wicked Season, I do need to still use my limit breaks. powering up, so this will be a bit of a slower one. One area on that. You're not here for might, I'm Warp. You're here for area. Da -da. So many of them are flying out. I'm seeing occasional 100,000 damage hits from the sword. Really hard with how many are firing out to actually get any hits in on the BFC. Can't actually tell. Oh, here's Curse, so... Oh, it's not firing off for some reason. I have more luck. I guess I haven't picked up enough duration from it. Oh, where's my red gem? There. Here we go, right? No, one level. What's going on? My kill count's not the greatest speed. Why? I didn't even hit up. Huh. Strange. I'm presuming a mount is affecting it. This is not remotely the damage he was pushing out last time. Oh, it has a hidden multiplier like that. It's something to try on characters that get a ton of amount. Maybe Gavat Oni will be good. <laughs> uh, what a joke. Man, the crit chance still isn't maxed out. Wow, I put so many levels into it too. Solely on crit chance. Might. Crab battle. Crab battle. Crab battle. Look like crabs. Talk like people. Crab battle. That wasn't even a particularly funny episode outside that bit. I don't know why it's stuck in me so long. Oh, they lost their kindling war. Ooh, big demon. Any vacuums? Yeah, looks like there's a vacuum down here. 
Oh, gilly gilly. Dang it, doesn't look like I grabbed it. Yeah, well, that's time for two. So many power-ups are coming out. Strangely, despite the pretty high luck, the shuriken shots aren't seeming to shoot out as much as they were. Oh, my level's not the greatest. Yeah, I'm seeing the occasional 2k now. There was a 9k in there. There you are, vacuum. Oh, there's another one over there. Nice. Yeah, there's something definitely going on with a mount. And uh, do other stuff with the BFC. This isn't doing the damage it should be doing in comparison to how it was last time. So let's test that out on the third one. And test it out further with other characters that benefit from huge amount. Like Ambro Joe. Or Gavet Oni. Far, far in the future of 2025, probably not. We're mighty. Okay, it's luck season. Time to shoot Daffy. Oh, hey, that robot got in close. Not that it mattered, but still. That's why I wanted the time warp. Just to create a barrier of nice protection. Area, area, amount. Yay, amount. Alright, let's see if that sends the damage into the stratosphere or something. I seriously do think it is affected by amount. The damage numbers are too different, considering I have slash on compared to the beginning. Wow, the crit chance still isn't maxed. Well, not that I can really tell with the swords doing so much dang work. I guess the end screen's gonna clarify that. I ain't seen 5Ks now. That's definitely from the shark thinning. So I'm very confident in saying that amount affects how much damage the shurikens do. It multiplies it. So maybe when I get to Katha, I do multiplier run. Oh, is there another vacuum around here? I don't think there is. Oh, I can't see one if there is. I'm going to drive this rapid fire for literally no benefit. Not bad considering it's on hurry. Oh, that was a rosary. I didn't see any vacuums. Do you see any vacuums? Alright. So next one... Uh, it's going to be Duplicator. Duplicator, beginning. Oh, right. Gems. For Logan. Oh. Oh, that was four. Right, I can move the right stick. I need it. Hey, are these all from random events? I mean, they have to be. Yeah, the shuriken pick here to do anything because the sword just kills them first and then they get pushed in while they're dying. Anything that gets through gets basically defanged or de-warped. Oh, no, I skip. Man, that was no levels at all. Eh, at this rate I'll just do random always. Oh, there was my big red gem. Uh, looks like Heaven Sword's up to 1,000 damage a hit. Pretty good. Uh, 6Ks from the Shuriken. 
Did I get duplicator before? I don't wonder. Maybe I was building for other things, but I'm not sure if I actually got duplicator in the beginning on her on her Neo Galaga run. Oh, I'll eat a test out for the third one. And what else to pick up? Uh, well, I'll still need Clover to evolve it. And that'll be either... I mean, probably be just empty tome again. Should have enough. Even if I don't get wings, I should have enough cooldown to compensate. And that frees me up for something else. Man, she just crushed your Queen Acres with no trouble, huh? Oh, that's what happens when you have damage like this. I'm not even taking hits. They're all getting defanged and stuff before they get in. Or frozen. Better, the game just broke even more. Which is always nice. Hey, vacuum. That finally be the red gem. Nope. Damn. Quitting time. Yeah, Heaven Sword did the most just because it was getting every hit in. BFC couldn't really do a lot to compete with that. Man, that's a lot of damage for a build that wasn't deliberately trying to overpower it too. Nice. Thanks for messing around and some more Vampire Survivors. Beswick Challenge, Sheena is going to finally be taking on Space 54. For you it was seconds, for me it was a whole day. Okay, and... Duh. I can hold off on some old Sanctuary for now. Alright, I switched it to two weapons and four passives. I really want to test out the beginning. I think that's how it works. That you get... That the BFC gets bonus from amount for its damage. That just makes a lot of sense with how it's been acting. Now I'm going to keep cross so we can compare it. And go on from there. Mount helps everything. Mount helps everything. So, not fully 3 3, three but still. I do what I want. But if you're annoyed with it, let me know down below in the comments. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Achika chow wow. Wow, that made no sense. Right, they shoot up because I'm going up. Hmm, if they auto aim, they'd be exceptionally good, cause just because of the way they work. Yeah, this is a weapon that gets a lot of bonuses from basically everything, isn't it? In fact, it's mostly just duration that stops it, but otherwise, yeah, everything affects it a lot more than other weapons. No, base damage is high, so might's good. Area makes it bigger. Duration makes it stay on longer. Oh, right. I have Wicked Season on. I forgot about that. Well, it ultimately won't matter. Speed makes it shoot out further. Well, we'll still get hit by things, but still. And area increases the size. Oh, right. Get all my gems. Perhaps I should have been done doing something about that. Full time. I'm so used to not running Wicked Season, I keep forgetting about it if I don't consciously make an effort to remember ahead of time. Yep, they're not getting through at all. Not enough for all front damage to kill the boss in a good time frame, though. Which is not a good sign. On the other hand, nothing's getting in, so that is a good sign. Let's grab all of this delicious gem. Let's damage it up first.
weapon it up first or damage it up. That's how it goes. Why does it curve like that? It's very strange. I don't think, think Diver Mines is the only other weapon that sort of has that kind of curvy nature to it. Everything else just shoots out in whatever straight line it does. Now, is the boss dead? The boss is dead. Oh, they're not much of a threat. Alright, let's grab you. Oh, triple chest, no evolutions till 10, it seems. Maybe 8. Get this nice big red gem here. Uh-oh. Okay, that wasn't very many, that's good. Now to sit still here till I evolve. And see if I was right with calling out that amount as a multiplier on BFC. Because really, the damage numbers are too inconsistent for me not to think that there's a secret multiplier on it. And it's not luck. It's not luck based. Can't be luck based when it makes sense to be luck based. Oh, the cubes are actually hitting me. Alright, bosses down below haven't been killed yet. Yeah, not a lot of upfront damage till one of the weapons evolves here. Oh, NFT could change that. Oh, wait, what? Am I out of bounds yet? No. No! Vacuum, really? Oh, man, that was so many levels wasted. Oh, wow, they're being stuck in the corner there. Because the terrain is still solid for the moment. Da -da -da. Oh, man. They're getting in close without Wicked Season. Wait, aren't these mobs from Polis Replica? That means this probably should have been with the Emergency Meeting DLC special, wouldn't it? Well, I guess Moonspell had only one stage. And it sure would be nice to grab some of these power-ups here. Oh, there's our Kana chest. We just need to spot it. Okay, there it is. Got some old sanctuary. More for the damage right now. That helps. That helps so much. Oh, there's a vacuum to try and avoid. Still don't have another chest drop. It's, well, it's ten minutes, so hopefully the boss spawns in and dies instantly. Oh man, a vacuum right next to a red gem. That's so dangerous. Fire it out this way. Alright, that should be the chest, the evolution boss. Okay, let's go. Yeah, there we go, BFC. Big freaking crossbow. Me hitting for 600. Man, it's so hard to tell. I've seen four digits, that's good. I think the crosses are interfering a lot with it. Hmm. Right, grab this vacuum. Full on might. And above all amount. Man, they just want to keep giving me cross, huh? Crazy bad luck with that. Want to see how high the mic can go. Because it's got a very good base damage, and amplifying that is good. 
Ooh, triple duration. Yay, I'm out. Oh, should've grabbed that mite. Okay, how's it hitting? Yep, there's some two, there's some five Ks. I think I can somewhat confidently say that amount does have a multiplier in it. Combined with crit chance. Because this is way more damage than it was doing without beginning and duplicator. Oh, is there a vacuum around me? There it is. So, having a multiplier is really good, because that means your damage will go off the crazy end. Like, absolutely nutty when it goes up. I should actually grab that Arcana chance in case it's a multiple one and I get the Heaven Sword off of it. Yeah, this will make it an incredible weapon for consistent base damage. Yeah, there was a... Yeah. Yeah, definitely as an amount multiplier, it's hitting four five-digit damage consistently. And that's incredible. That makes it one of the most damaging upfront weapons there is. Yeah. Heck, even... I think it's getting crits, so more luck is good, too. I mean, obviously, more luck is good. You're going for this, so you don't have a choice. Just do not want to give me that chest, huh? I think there's not a lot of weapons that have a direct multiplier for the damage. That's why... Athia and her flash arrow surprisingly did well because it has an amount bonus there. By stacking it, it sort of started going super crazy. This isn't even with like the best possible build for this, and it's still gonna do a ton at the end. Still no chest. Well, let me luck. Nope. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's also going to be up forever now, because it's got so much duration. Got like six levels of duration picked up. <laughs> yep, there was another 5k damage hit. A lot of five-digit damage going on. Man, so many 1700s shooting out now. Oh, dang it, I missed growth season. Yeah, you get this properly set up with some might bonus, a Trona's box. It'll go completely off the chain. That's incredible. Yeah, not even growth season. It's not like I'm that high of a level. I could do it more efficiently, but it's definitely an extremely high damaging and effective weapon. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to compare it to Heaven Sword, because it just does not want to show up. Here it goes, finally. Well, not that it can really do all that much anymore. So I'm focusing so hard on the BFC. Mount 1. Duration. Yeah, when it's basically endless like this, not a lot's going to be able to get in. Man, I got so many duration levels. That's great. Well, I should have grabbed Mike there. Wait, why does Heaven Sword hey, get 1% Might when other weapons can only get half? Man, I got so much duration. Oops. Well, I could have waited. Man. 
They just don't stand any chance. Oh, is that... Yeah, it's 40,000 damage right there. Wait, what? Oh, crap. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Guess I gotta chain all my Aura Logan and stuff. This has gotta go to random always. And there's so much on the map, there really shouldn't be a chance of me failing at this point, but who knows. Huh, they didn't die to the rosary. A grenade. Yeah, they aren't taking damage, that means they've got some other setup. But yeah, they're like just based on how many hits they get taken in by. Well, at least I have more than enough dang chickens sent you away on the map. This shouldn't be a problem. Still, that was way dicier in the end than it possibly should have been. This is a high damage variant. Uh, what? Oh, right, candy box. Yeah, this was for raw high damage, not for large scale. I need to be hit five times before I die mob stuff. Oh, Reaper. I can chain more than enough chickens to keep going through it for a while. Because Reaper can't get in all that well. Alright, that was weirdly dicier than it should be. Yeah, half a billion. Half a billion off of a 20 minute stage where the evolution took a while. You fully build into this very intentionally and it could be one of the most damaging weapons in the game. All right, and T Sheena has successfully taken us up. Three more on the Beswick. We're up to 291 now. And it's come a long way. That's not 291. That is. And it's good to experiment because I think I finally deduced that amount does affect BFC. So you want to build for the crossbow? You build for that. Anyway, next up is going to be Brownie. And let's see what nonsense he's going to be able to pull off now that I know how the wave cannon works. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed enough to leave a like, dislike, comment, or subscription. I appreciate everyone that does. I hope you have a good day either way, and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.